Hey guys, it's Wendy from Wendy's Art. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to paint this beautiful sea slug in watercolor, or some people call it blue dragon. When I first saw the photo, I was in love with the color, so I thought I would share this painting with you. Now let's start painting. As always, I start with the contour drawing. I mark out the shadows as well, so it's easier to put colors on later. I like to outline my sketching with light watercolor and erase my pencil sketching after that, so I know there's no pencil sketching left in my finished painting. After I'm done with that, I start painting from the darkest shades on the body. As you can see, I leave the center part blank, so later I can put the silver colors on. For the arms, I first apply the base color using Peacock Blue, then quickly add indigo which is a darker color around the edge of each arm while the paper is still wet. Because of the full Italy of watercolor, you can see the color we add on blends nicely into each other, and that's the result I'm looking for here. Next, I start painting the areas that connect the arm and the body. The painting process is similar with the arm. I want to create a layer without hard edges or paintbrush strokes. So I'm using wet on wet here. I first apply a clean water layer, then quickly add colors on while the paper is still wet. As you can see, this creates a natural blending color. After that, I continue the same painting process as before to finish all the other arms. Since I will need to add the darker colors right after the base layer, I like to hold two brushes in hand. One is a smaller size for adding details and darker shades, and the other one is a bigger brush for applying the base layer, so it's more efficient and easier for coloring. For the center part of the body, I first put a base layer using silver color, then add the darker shades and details on top of that layer. After that, I start to adding all the darker patterns on the areas that connect arm and body. Here I also add a little bit silver colors on it, so the whole painting fits better together. Next, I strengthen the shadow around the tail and arms. I also use the same silver color which I use for the center body to highlight the arms. 
so it looks more sweety. I like these silver pants from Holbein. They are nice and shiny and good for highlighting as well. Lastly, I add the shadows around the sea slug using diluted sky blue. I choose this color for shadows because I think it fits this painting better than using gray or other color. So the painting is about to finish here. Comment below and let me know what you think. That's all for today's video. I really hope it's helpful and if you enjoyed it. If you do, please like and share with your friends. And make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so you never miss out on my weekly art videos and tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next week. Bye!